Okay, our next segment, we have all our flutes filled, around our penetrations with the lower, with the foam pack, around the curb. Normally you wouldn't be standing there in a real life because you'd be inside of an air conditioning unit, but kind of want to explain why, why we have this insulation laid out this way? Sure. So one of the different things about cold storage facilities is that generally it requires much more insulation than a typical facility. So can you guess what the R value is of this insulation here? Hmm, 35. Well, sometimes if you have a blast freezer below your cold storage facility, it may require all the way up to an R value of 60. You missed that by a long time. Well, you know. I was going to guess 58. Something. I'm sure you were, yeah. So it's really important to make sure that you have several layers of insulation, not just one really thick layer. And we discussed briefly in the first segment about thermal bridging and why it's important to make sure that we're limiting airflow. So staggering and offsetting our insulation is crucial when it comes to cold storage. So we're mechanically attaching our first layer and then we're going to adhere all of the subsequent layers. With and low rise foam. With low rise foam. I have a question for you. Why couldn't, if I'm a contractor, why would I want to do that? Just why couldn't I have my stagger and just gang screw everything. Can I do that? So by staggering and offsetting and adhering the layers of insulation, that limits our airflow from the interior. The faster gang fastening all the way down through to the deck, is that not a thermal bridge? That is a thermal bridge. Okay. So now, now we're actually burying them. We just fasten the first layer and we're gonna bury. That's exactly what we wanna do. Yeah. Now, if this were a concrete deck, we could put in all the insulation with low rise foam mm -hmm. because you can't use low rise on metal as we know. So one of our last segments, we talked about this curve that goes all the way around the perimeter of this building. Mm -hmm. You wanna explain to the audience how that's gonna get filled now? So we talked about the importance of spray foam within the flutes. We wanna make sure we're filling it at least 12 inches from the perimeter of all of our penetrations as well as at the wall to deck interface but we also want to make sure that we are filling at least a one inch minimum gap from the wall to the edge of our rigid insulation. So all the way to the top. All the way to the top. So, so we want to- Four inches or 12 inches. That, mm -hmm. That's what's going to get- Starting started. at the deck level, all the way to the top. So we went with an inch, you said one inch minimum, correct? One inch minimum. And we just decided as a contractor, this is what I would do. I'm going to take a piece of dimensional lumber, like a two by four, and I'm going to wedge it between the wall and my insulation, I'm gonna shove the insulation and once I have it fastened down and low rise foam down, it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pull the board out and then we can go back and foam that in. That's right. Because this can be pretty difficult to eyeball an inch or inch and a half and keep that insulation nice. Well, it's better to be over spec than under spec. Yeah. If you have a consultant or whomever on the, on the job, you don't want them coming over and saying, oh, you've only got three quarters of an inch. Or seven eighths of an inch, or yeah. God help you. Yeah. If you can see back here, this is what we have laid out here. We have a two by 10 and we actually put some handles on it. Right. Almost to the very top of our insulation package. We're going to kick our insulation tight of that, fasten it down, adhere it down. Once we're all done, we're going to come back and pull all those two bys out of there. And it's just a matter of foaming everything in. And we have one right here. Yep. Now we've already got these pre-cut ready to lay in. Correct. So this is a four by eight. Correct. Is that a problem with the base layer being four by eight? It is not because you can put base layers down. You can put any four by eight down mechanically attached. It's mechanically attached. Right, if you're doing low rise foam. That'd be four by fours. Exactly. And we can get more fast we're gonna fasten this down, everything's getting low rise foam this like she spoke about over there. Perfect. I've already pre-cut this around this penetration. I got a two by right here. Right. Make sure we're staying an inch and a half away from that curb. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. This Everything's is, tight. And just continue all the way across the riffle. If this thing was bigger, we'd have to have more lumber lined yeah. up. All we gotta do is put some screws and plates in and start low-rise foam filling in from there. Thanks for joining uh, Roofing Right with David and Wally. If you want any further information, feel free to look at our website, gaf.com slash cold storage.